and refused to condemn white supremacists. No. This is a part of a pattern of Donald Trump's. We are a country that stands united in condemning hate and evil in all of its very ugly forms. The anti-Semitic threats targeting our Jewish community and community centers are horrible and are painful and a very sad reminder of the work that still must be done to root out hate and prejudice and evil. About the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists because they should be condemned totally. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence. It has no place in America. Racism is evil, and those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs, including the KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and other hate groups that are repugnant to everything we hold dear as Americans. Those who spread violence in the name of bigotry strike at the very core of America. Love for America requires love for all of its people. When we open our hearts to patriotism, there is no room for prejudice, no place for bigotry, and no tolerance for hate. We have it in our power, should we so choose, to lift millions from poverty, to help our citizens realize their dreams, and to ensure that new generations of children are raised free from violence, hatred, and fear. We want our country to be a place where every child from every background can grow up free from fear, innocent of hatred, and surrounded by love opportunity and hope. There must be no tolerance for anti-Semitism in America or for any form of religious or racial hatred or prejudice. We must never ignore the vile poison of anti-Semitism or those who spread its venomous creed. With one voice, we must confront this hatred anywhere and everywhere it occurs. We forcefully condemn the evil of anti-Semitism and hate, which must be defeated. In one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. I have to say, I've said it many times, and let me be clear again, I condemn the KKK. I condemn all white supremacists. I condemn the Proud Boys. I don't know much about the Proud Boys, almost nothing, but I condemn that. Donald Trump's campaign is denouncing the endorsement it got in the latest issue of The Crusader. This publication is repulsive, and their views do not represent the tens of millions of Americans who are uniting behind our campaign, adding that the campaign denounces hate in any form. We'll not tolerate hatred and violence of groups like white supremacists, the KKK and the neo-Nazi. We condemn, in the strongest terms, uh, the hate and and violence advocated by groups like white supremacists, neo-Nazis, and, and their ilk. While we may be a nation divided on policies, we are a country that stands united in condemning hate and evil in all of its very ugly forms. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides. As I said on Saturday, we condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence. It has no place in America. Racism is evil, and those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs, including the KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and other hate groups that are repugnant to everything we hold dear as Americans. And you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. The vile, hate-filled poison of anti-Semitism must be condemned and confronted everywhere and anywhere it appears. 
There must be no tolerance for anti-Semitism in America or for any form of religious or racial hatred or prejudice. We must never ignore the vile poison of anti-Semitism or those who spread its venomous creed. With one voice, we must confront this hatred anywhere and everywhere it occurs. Our entire nation mourns the loss of life, prays for the wounded, and stands in solidarity with the Jewish community. We forcefully condemn the evil of anti-Semitism and hate, which must be defeated. In one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white supremacy. These sinister ideologies must be defeated. Hate has no place in America.